I wanted to talk to you today about ways to evolve your language to shift and change your mind, to train new ways of thinking. And this is essentially what yoga is talking about is sitting quietly, becoming aware of what you're not aware of, becoming conscious of what's unconscious so that you can then choose how you would like to show up in the world, choose how you would like to think to use the mind as a tool but to not live there. So some useful tools or tactics that I have implemented and have found extremely helpful is little mind pivots. So I'm actually changing the way that I'm interpreting reality in a way that can then better serve me and those around me. So one tactic that I like to use is gratitude when I'm complaining in my mind, in my thoughts, or in my words to shift, pivot my mind into gratitude. What am I grateful for right now? Grateful that I'm breathing. Grateful that I'm alive. Grateful that I have a family, that I have a home, that I have food. Oh, instantly, whatever I was complaining about now is totally negated because I have so much to be grateful for. Another mental pivot I also encourage you to try out, which has helped me, is shifting from frustration into amusement. I get frustrated at myself pretty often. I don't know about you. Might be a human thing, possibly. Um, I also get frustrated at other people or situations in the world. And so instead of me getting hard on myself about oh, I thought I could accomplish this thing by this task, by this time, with this much whatever, and it doesn't happen, I get frustrated. Instead, I try to shift it into amusement. Like, oh, that's so funny that I thought I could do that in that amount of time, but I obviously can't. So let's uh, reset the timeline. It's amusing and when someone cuts me off driving, instead of getting really frustrated at the fact that somebody just cut me off driving, I can just kind of take a deep breath, exhale, and be like, oh, isn't that funny? They must really be in a rush to wherever they're going, that they think that they're the most important car on the road. That's funny, right? So it's just a shift in how I'm thinking about it, how I'm having my inner dialogue with myself, sometimes outer dialogue. And the last one is worry into wonder. So instead of worrying about where my son's going to go to school that would be the best option for him, I can wonder. Instead of getting all like, oh my gosh, I need to figure this out, I need to know where I need to live in order to put him in the right school, or blah, 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 right? Just this mental ongoing. I could just wonder. I wonder if there's any artsy schools around here that he would really thrive in. I wonder if there's any schools that have more... can kinesiology, like more kinesthetic learning. I wonder if there's any schools where they're required to play outside for a certain amount of time, right? So shifting from worry to wonder, from frustration to amusement, and from complaining into gratitude has really served me. It's really helped me enjoy my reality in my mind and in my language. So I encourage you to pick one of those, whether you worry a lot, or if you get frustrated a lot or you complain a lot, I would pick the one that you do the most and see if you can create a habit trigger. So your thought is the trigger and the new behavior is amusement or wonder or gratitude. I hope that you found this helpful and just enjoy playing around with those mental pivots and let me know how it goes.